Good morning, Pope Francis. Please stand for prayer and pledge to the flag. At this moment, I would like to invite Andrew Serezina for morning prayer. Good morning. Today, I wanted to pray for peace as we navigate through this period where it seems everyone in our country is at odds with each other. We begin this day, as always, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Dear Lord, I know there is a lack of peace in people's homes. Sometimes, there is a lack of peace in mine. I pray for more of your peace to fill our homes. I pray that your peace will fill our hearts. Help husbands and wives to be peacemakers and seek to be peaceful in every situation. In Jesus' name, amen. Please face the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. At this moment, I would like to invite Mr. A for an announcement. Good morning. I would like the attention of the entire community. As we all know, we are in the middle of a pandemic. None of us have lived through this before. None of us knew what to expect. And at this point, we still don't totally know what to expect. The science, however, has clearly shown that wearing masks, keeping our distance, and washing our hands are clear ways that we can protect ourselves and others from the virus. So I'd like to take this opportunity this morning to remind the community of these three things. First, it is the school's policy that everyone in the building wears a mask. Not only are you supposed to be wearing a mask, but you must make sure you wear it properly. It must cover your nose and fully cover your mouth. At no point while you are in this building, unless you are eating lunch and sitting at your table, are you allowed to have your mask off or not worn properly. Because of safety and the pandemic, any student who does not wear their mask properly for any reason at any time may be asked to go remote. So please, keep your six foot distance. Please do not roam the hallways. Please make sure you wash your hands as often as possible. There is san hand sanitizer all over this building. There is no reason you cannot be sanitizing your hands quite often. I remind all of you, it is our responsibility to keep ourselves and others safe. And if we follow the school procedures, this can be done and we can learn in a safe environment. So I remind you one more time, if you cannot follow the procedures, you may be asked to learn remote. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Today is National Popcorn Day. On January 19th, National Popcorn Day pops onto the scene with a crunch we all love and enjoy. The annual celebration recognizes a treat that satisfies munchies day or night. This time-honored snack can be sweet or savory, caramelized, buttered, or plain, molded into a candied ball, or tossed with nuts and chocolate. However, it is enjoyed. However it is enjoyed, enjoy it on National Popcorn Day, January 19th. Attention all Yale Model UN delegates. There is a one hour meeting after school today, January 19th, in the music room, room 150. All students who are going to, t are, who are going to the Yale Model UN conference are required to come. The meeting will take place in person, but will be available via Zoom for remote learners. The Spanish Club will be having a meeting tomorrow, Wednesday, January 20th, in room 312 from 2 to 3 p.m. I'd like to extend a Pope Francis birthday to Ryan Lamountain. And today's rotation is H-E-F-G with F period lunch. First lunch, Ms. Slawiak and Mrs. Parsons. Second lunch, Mrs. Trella and Mr. Hallwadell. And third lunch, Mr. Kopeck and Mr. Broder. And our quote of the day is, the wonderful mystery of God's grace 
is that he gives his love and favor to people who do not deserve it and who have done nothing to earn it. That is why we sing about God's amazing grace. Michael Cox. That's all, Pope Francis. Have a great day.